This is Origami Air Art Studio, and today we are going to make a lantern model. So, like so. You need a pair of scissors, a stick thing, and a piece of paper. It's recommended that you use Kami, so it's color on one side and white on the other. So first, you will take your paper, white side on the inside, up, and then fold it in half, horizontally. Now, you will fold it in half again. Then take your model and orient it so it opens towards you and keep it longwise horizontal. We're going to take the right corner and bring this edge in upon the center crease. Make nice tight creases. And now it looks a little like a truck. Take your model, flip it over, and repeat. Take the right corner edge and fold it towards the center line. Creating what looks like a pyramid. So now, if you pick your model up, you'll see that you can split it. So take it and kind of pinch the back a little bit and you'll see that it will fall into place. This is called the square base. And solidify all those lines. Now you'll see that it's open towards your core. I recommend turning it and then we're going to take the right corner and we're going to do a kite fold towards the center crease so it'll be more tapered at the bottom going up to the middle and now we're going to repeat on the other side so take the left corner and fold it in just next to the center crease line so it really looks like a kite now. We're going to flip our model over and we're going to repeat, but now we have guidelines. make the creases sharp once you're comfortable with it. Now, you'll notice if you unflap part of your kite, you have a pocket here. So stick your finger in the pocket and you might have to manipulate the paper a little bit, but we're going to take this edge here and we're gonna match it up with the center, just like so. And now you'll see that it kind of looks like a boat from here. So we're going to turn the page back to where we were, and then we're going to repeat. So find the pocket, use your finger to straighten it out, and line up this crease with the middle of the model. And now you have another boat. So, flip it over and you'll see you have the same scenario. So repeat, take the right side, straighten it out, find that middle, align the middle crease 
and then solidify the rest of your folds. And then turn back and repeat one more time. And if the paper gives you problems, then go slower. Now, once you have this, and you can flip through the pages, make sure you've done all the pockets, and you see, now we take scissors, and we're just going to cut the boat sails off. So now that you have that, what we're going to do is take the corner edges and we're going to fold along the center crease again to make a symmetrical, we'll call it an almost triangle. See how they meet in the middle. Now let's flip it over and do it again. The right corner. And then the left corner. And it's important to make these creases sharp because it plays a part in what you do shortly. So now find another page that hasn't been done on both sides. And find that center crease and do one at a time. You can follow the lines that you've already established. So follow those edges and then flip to your last and repeat one more time. Making nice sharp creases with your nail or a tool. So now that you have this done, it's easier to make sure that you have equal layers on both sides. So just flip around until you have that. There's four here and then there's four on this side. So now we're going to unfold it and it's easier to lift through the middle and then put your finger on the corner and if you press down a little bit in there, you'll notice it kind of falls into place and you can manipulate it the rest of the way. And it tucks in and becomes its own pocket. Now, repeat on the other side. Until your model looks like this. So flip it over and let's do it again. Unfold that kind of triangle and then tuck it in along those preliminary lines we created. Do the other side. And then flip through like the pages of a book until you find another page like that. We're going to repeat again. So find where that line is, push it in until it falls into place. And when it looks good, solidify those creases and go for the other side. So let's see, let's leave one more, so again push upon the point of the edge until it falls into place and then repeat on the remaining side.
Once you have all those done, you can continue to flip through and see that they are all finished. Give it a nice creasing with your nail or a tool until you feel good about it. And then you have your finished bottle.